Hello and welcome to Champion PE with me, Mr. Morris. This unit, we're going to be focusing on target games. But before we get into our lesson, let's start with a warm up to get our muscles and our bodies nice and warm, ready for some exercise. Okay, for this warm up, all you're going to need is a little bit of space and some comfortable clothes to do some activity in. Perfect. Now, you should already know this game. It's one that we've played before in school. It's called the traffic light game. All I've got here are three different cones, and they're the colours of the traffic light. So we've got green, we've got amber, and we've got red. Each time I show one of those colours and I say the colour out loud, you're going to perform a certain action. So for green, that just means go. And all we're going to do is jog around the space you are in. Now, if you don't have a lot of space, don't worry, you can just jog on the spot, but you can have arms and those legs moving. For amber, you're going to work on the spot, and you're going to jump up and down. Okay? We're not moving around on amber, we're on the spot, and we're jumping up and down. And red, which means stop, means stop. We're going to freeze like a statue. Perfect. So, I'm going to say and show the colour, you're going to perform the action as quick as you can. Are you ready? Green! Lovely! Let's see those arms and those legs moving as fast as you can, jogging around the area or the spot if you can't move around too much. Amber! Up and down position. Lovely! Keep going. Green! Back to jogging. Amber! Back to jumping on the spot. Red and freeze. Hold that position. Wonderful. Let's see how quickly we can react this time. Green. Jogging on the spot. Jogging around. Red. Did you do it a little bit faster that time? Green. Amber. Jump down. Green. Jogging all around. And Amber. Jumping up and down. And red. Brilliant. Really well done. This time, I'm not going to say it out loud. I'm just going to show you the colour. And I want you to react as quickly as possible. So you need to have your head up when you're moving. You need to be looking at the screen so you can see the video. And as soon as you see the colour, you just perform that action. Are we ready? Perfect. Everyone should be jogging around now. Lovely, nice and fast. Stand as still as you can when you see this one. Jumping on the spot. Absolutely brilliant. That's really, really well done. We should all be nice and warm now, ready to get into the main part of our lesson. Okay, so the focus on today's lesson is the overarm throw. All you're going to need for this lesson is a couple of objects to throw. So I'm at home, I'm going to use pairs of socks. But if you're in school, you can use uh, bean bags or you can use soft tennis balls, whatever you can hold in your hand and you can throw. Perfect. By the end of today's lesson, I want you to understand how to perform an overarm throw. I want you to enjoy competing against yourselves in the activities that I'm going to set. And hopefully I want you to understand when you should use an overarm throw or an underarm throw in a sporting situation. Right, to show you how to do an overarm throw, <laughs> you're going to get your object that you are using to throw in your dominant hand. If you don't know what your dominant hand is, it's the one that you'd pick up a pen or a pencil with, or the one that you would eat with. You're going to hold it in your dominant hand, and you're going to use your other hand to point at your target and step with the same foot. You're going to bring your object up to your ear, bringing your arm into an L shape with your elbow pointing back, and then you simply twist, extend your arm, and release. So the object travels 
in the direction you are pointing. Now I'll show you one more time from a different angle. I'm going to hold my object in my dominant hand. I'm going to point, step, object comes up to my ear and I'm going to twist, extend my arm and release. Perfect. Now what I want you to do is go and find yourself an object and I want you to practice doing that, either throwing to a partner, if there's somebody at home or at school you can work with, or throwing against a wall. Off you go. Okay, for this challenge, we're going to use the overarm throwing technique to try and score some points. What you're going to need to do for this challenge is set up a target like I have. You're going to need two things. You're going to need a large target and a smaller one. So I've chosen a chair and a cone to put on top. The chair is my large target and the cone is my small one. You can use whatever you've got, either at home or at school. It can be a laundry basket turned upside down, or a water bottle on top, or a tin of beans. Whatever you can find to make two targets. Then, you're going to need five objects. So again, I've chosen to use a pair of socks as my throwing object, but you can use bean bags or a tennis ball. What you're going to do is you're going to use the correct overarm throwing technique and throw your objects one at a time towards the target. Every time you hit the large target, you're going to give yourself one point. If you hit the smaller target, you're going to get three points. Once you've thrown all your five objects, you're going to add all your points together and whatever the total is, that is your score. Now it's my turn to have a go. I went straight through the middle, but it would have hit, so that's one point. Again, two points. Three points. Four points. Let's see if I can hit this comb on the last one. Hold on, just got it. So I got five points. What I want you to know is have a go at that. Once you've done it once, find out what your score is and then do it two more times, each time trying to beat your score. Now it's your choice how close you get to your target. If you're a little bit more confident at this, you can move further away. Or if you just want to try and get it a little bit closer so you can have a better go at that, start like that and then move it away the more confident you get. Now it's your turn to have a go, press pause and let's see how you do. overarm throwing challenge, what you're going to need to do is set up a target to hide you made of different objects. Now I've chosen for cones and I've set them out like skittles will be set out, but you can choose any object and set them out in any way you want. That way you can change up the challenge, make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more exciting. You're also going to need five soft objects. So I've chosen bean bags this time. If you're at school you can get some bean bags or tennis balls, or if you're at home you can maybe use some small teddy bears or even pairs of socks like I've used in the past. You're going to throw the objects at the target and see how many you can knock down. You're going to have 15 throws in total and however many you knock down, however many targets you knock down in 15 throws is your score. Once you've done it, set up your target again and try again, doing that two or three times, each time trying to get a better score. Now if you're feeling really confident, you can set your distance further away. I'm about three meters away from my target. You can do it four, five, six, seven meters, whatever you feel good with. If you're not as confident and you want a little bit more practice, you can move yourself that bit closer to make it just a little bit more simple for you until you get a little bit more comfortable with this skill. Right, it's my turn to have a go. And then once you've seen me do it, you can press pause and try it yourself.
Going 15 goals, I managed to knock down four of my calls. Let's see how you get along, press pause and have a go for yourself. Absolutely brilliant today. Now, today's lesson was part of our target games unit and today we focus on the overarm throw. Let's have a quick recap of the skills that we learned. You're going to hold the object in your dominant hand, you're going to point and step with your weaker hand and weaker foot, you're going to twist, extend and release. Now we use the overarm throw in many sports like cricket or rounders, and the idea behind an overarm throw is that we are throwing for distance, so to send an object far, or for power, okay? Like when we cricket, when we try to take the wickets. The underarm throw is slightly different. With the underarm throw, it's when we're trying to throw to someone who's close to us to give us as much control as possible. Either way, both these throws, we are aiming for good accuracy. So don't forget about that. It's not just about how hard or far, it's about getting it as close to your target as possible, so keep practicing. Really well done. I hope you understand now how to use the overarm throw, and from last week's lesson, also the underarm throw. I hope you know when to apply each one in a sporting situation, so whether it's for distance, power, or it's for control and somebody close to us. And I hope you enjoy competing against yourself. Let your teacher know how you got along, and maybe drop us a message too on social media, just to let us know if you enjoyed our lesson. Thank you very much and we'll see you again.